Hi guys, I thought I, uh, I'd start this video from my bed. Um, I put uh, my old mattress in here from my other van, which has the same, same length. This bed is about uh, six inches wider. It's a lot, a uh, lot of space uh, still available here on, on the side. So I'll get a new mattress uh, that is wider, that it fits, that works out quite well. I haven't done uh, much on, uh, on the van uh, this week. Um, done uh, mostly some uh, some ordering of stuff uh, that I uh, will need in the near future uh, as well as uh, some maintenance on my woodworking machines that really needed to be done um, so I didn't really have time to uh, work on on the van just wanted to tell you about my plans for the next uh, two months or so um, the main focus right now for me is uh, August 21st which has a uh, total eclipse here in the United States uh, a total solar eclipse in the United States. Um, one that uh, comes in at Oregon and goes all the way across America uh, and ends uh, in South Carolina. And since I'm here in uh, Central Florida, I'll probably be going to the, at least to an East Coast location, whether it's South Carolina, may even be Tennessee or e even Missouri, depending on uh, what kind of a location I, I choose. Since I'm focused on that and I want to at least spend a week on that, on that trip, um, I would like to have my bed at least usable uh, as well as what I still haven't done yet is a roof fan in my roof and uh, since these are the summer months and uh, can be quite hot it is already quite hot here in Florida as you might see um, I really want to do uh, the roof fan so what I'll probably do the next uh, week or so what I'll start on is instead of continuing with the, the closet uh, I want to work on the uh, vent, the roof vent, which is a little bit complicated, at least I made it a little bit complicated because as you can see I have a very dark colored van uh, and the fan that I ordered was a Max Air van which is quite dark, it has a, a black top, uh, but it has uh, the flange that goes on on top of the roof is completely white as well as the exterior part of the the vent itself that's that's visible that has some white parts too but those are not really very visible but the, the flange that's going to be installed on top of the vent itself is uh, bright white and since I'm in the stealth mode design uh, a little bit uh, what I wanted to do is uh, give that flange a black color at least a dark but in, in my case a black color so it doesn't stand out as as much that the type of plastic uh, it's difficult to paint because uh, paint doesn't really adhere to that and the paints that work on it are industrial paints and those are quite expensive as well as you have to buy large quantities of them uh, which is out of the question in my case and um, so after a couple of months researching that topic I came to the fact that uh, it was at least advised not guaranteed but at least advised by uh, RXL, the, the, the company of, uh, that makes the Mexa fans, fans um, to buy a, uh, a certain type of black paint that's very suitable to do that. Maybe not long term, we'll see how that works uh, out. The other thing that I bought was an uh, adhesion promoter um, that's spe specifically made for uh, these, uh, this type of plastic and uh, that probably uh, ensures that the paint will hold a little bit better to the uh, material. Uh, so that's something I uh, was working on this week. Th this is the flange I was talking about and I want to at least paint that whole outside part of it and maybe uh, some of the parts that are on the fan vent itself. Uh, but uh, just to make everything uh, sure, I needed to, to have some silicon as well. Uh, which I bought in, in a black color, uh, as well as uh, the Dicor uh, that also comes in black as well. So I try to be uh, stay uh, consistent. Oh yeah, and of course uh, the butyl tape, they, they come in different colors too, amongst others the black color. So the next thing that I really wanted to start with was with a shower. Uh, the shower has been something that I've been working on probably for the last year or so. Um, because I have a problem, I got a medium roof van 
and it's really not high enough to accommodate a, a real bathroom. So what I wanted to do is uh, get an, a removable shower. What I came up with was a design that incorporates a um, somewhat large drawer, bottom drawer, in one of the cabinets in the rear uh, that will hold this laundry top uh, and then not the entire laundry top of course uh, I'll cut it down quite quite far but it, ha it has to stay probably about uh, five or six inches high or so uh, also a little bit off the floor because of the drain underneath and uh, I'll work a drawer around it so that it fits in a drawer put some reinforcement underneath as well then connect a drain that will probably be connected to a grey water tank so that I can take out the drawer and have a floor pan and then I will combine that with a shower head that's hidden through a uh, drawer slide uh, at the top of the ceiling in the cabinets so I can pull that out whenever I need to take a shower then take out the shower curtain, hang them on four hooks in the uh, trailer and then have a fairly regular shower uh, except for the amount of water because that's always uh, limited of course. Um, I don't know how that works out uh, but I'm always in to try something out and see how far I can go with it. And then by next Friday with a new video I uh, can show you how far it's gone uh, on the roof fan. If you have any questions or comments, please uh, do so on YouTube or on the website and um, I'll try to answer them uh, as quickly as I can. Thanks very much, see you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.